happy with you know what we did today. I thought uh, really all three phases did some good things. All three phases did some stuff we got to clean up. Uh, you know, opening day you know issues, whether it be a month punt by Kanati trying to make a play. Um, you know, just you know some stuff like that that's got to be cleaned up. Jumping over you know punch shield, which we can't do, uh, which we coach every single day. The guys are trying to be aggressive. Um, you know, too many penalties early in the game uh, all on us. But uh, you know overall. Um, game one, there'll be a lot to teach from the video, and uh, I'm happy with where we are at this point. How did you evaluate uh, Eli's performance today? You know, I'll let you guys, it won't matter what I say. Um, you know, we go back and watch the videotape, but I thought early, uh, shoot, I think in his first series, you know, there wasn't an incomplete pass. I'm very sorry you can't see me here, Jerry. You've got the chairs all pulled up really close. Um, but, uh, um, you know, Eli played really good, I think. Uh, I was really happy with where he was. You know, he had the one um, interception kind of threw it off his heels, I think. Um, we'll go back and look and see what he did there. But, uh, you know, uh, overall, he got the ball in his hand when he needed to. Uh, I think one series, we gave him two sacks in a row, which, you know, disappointing. You know, we'll see if he needed to get rid of it or uh, he had a protection problem. I think the corner came one time. But, you know, overall, 30 to 40 for, you know, 300 plus yards. Uh, I would say he looked pretty darn good. Pat, it looked like he completed to do four different receivers, two tight ends, and two running backs. And both sidelines deep, intermediate. What was what did you, what can you say about his grasp of this playbook for being a redshirt freshman that transferred to you guys? Yeah, I mean he's he's, he's a good football player. I told you, you know, so, so is Nate. Uh, but you know, you know, I think schematically, I think Coach Bell and the offense staff does a great job in scheming you up and, and uh, putting our kids in position to make those plays. The ball's getting spread out. Uh, I don't know how many different receivers caught balls here uh, today, but uh, you know. Uh, when you look at the targets and Kenny, I mean, it was just some good stuff. The ball spread out. You can't just focus on that guy over there. Uh, we get different ways of getting guys balls, and, and uh, you know, we got to try to get everybody involved. Pat, you had said that you had hoped that after the first game, it was pretty obvious who your starting quarterback would be. Do you go in next week, rest of the season, feeling pretty good that Eli's your starter? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's something I'll, you know, you know we'll, we'll talk about that Monday. I'm going to sit down with the offense and, and sit down with Kate, but, you know, I think things look pretty kind of thought coming out of camp and, and uh, Eli was sharp uh, you know uh, things didn't look sharper and probably you know pulled him earlier just to see what you know they had but you know so I told you earlier I think I told you on Thursday didn't have a plan for when and what uh, to do but uh, you know the way he you know played with composure but obviously it's going to be you know we're going to see a little bit more uh, next uh, Saturday uh, at 3 30 I think in Cincinnati so just getting locked into that one you called Desmond Reed explosive on Thursday. Is that kind of what you're talking about, his performance today? That's, that's what I was talking about. I mean, you, the kid's been like that. He's tough. You know, he gets a little calf down there and he comes right back. He just, he doesn't say boo. He just keeps going. He's like an ever, ever ready battery. I mean, he just goes. Um, you know, the punt return, I mean, even the punt return, we had a base defense on the field. That was just, we were punt safe. Uh, we were keeping our base defense on the field. They made some blocks and he made some plays. And, you know, he can pop through. I told you he could break one. You know, Happened to be Izzy was here today, and Payton Taylor was here, and, and uh, he's he's that kind of back that can go break one. And you know that Derek did, did some good things, and, and, uh, and uh, Daniel Carter did some nice things as well. Um, so we got you know we got a lot of people involved. We got a lot of guys playing football today. Uh, we got our second offense line in there. We got you know shoot, I think we got our thirds. You know D line, you know Jashir, um, you know got in there. Uh, Whittington, you know got in, got some good things in. I think the last three plays defensively were PFLs. I did not like the way our defense came out in the third quarter. Uh, we'll address that. I didn't, I didn't like that at all. I don't know what they were doing, what they were thinking. I can't wait to watch the videotape, but that was not how I wanted to come out in that third quarter. You mentioned it, but you guys gave up a few big plays, especially in that third quarter. Did you, did you notice anything common? Do you think that you guys were no, I mean, just you know, execution and, and details. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they felt like, you know, I don't know what they came out in the second half like, but, uh, you know, I'll get on the defensive coaches. It starts with us as coaches, make sure their minds are right. I don't think this, this game is easy and it's, it's in the bag. See what you have for that. Maybe that's got a lot of Kenny, out of Kenny Johnson as a sophomore, whether it was red, red zone, deep ball, over the middle, catching it, catching it off the ground. Uh, what have you seen that allowed him to that allowed him to make the kind of improvements? You know, he didn't practice a lot this fall, so I mean, I can't, I can't tell you it was because practice makes perfect. You know, I mean, he was banged up a lot and uh, we were, you know, able to get him and CJ Lee back you know, on game day, which is good. CJ was bagged up more than he was, and I think he had a few a few catches today as well. But uh, um, you know, we'll continue to uh, to get better there. Are, 
Are the penalties one thing you're most concerned about today? I am. You know, but we talk about eight things critical to winning, and penalties isn't one. Penalties does lose games. You know, one thing I didn't you know how many you know legal procedures do we have? You know, zero unforced. There's got to be some aggressive penalties that we had, but there were some ones early. You know, and I don't have I don't have my book on me here, uh, but uh, you know, there's some early that just you know shouldn't happen. And, uh, but there were aggressive ones, and you know, uh, I don't anticipate those. You know, I think the first one was a you know block in the back or holding on a punt return uh, just shouldn't happen. And you know, we'll, we'll get that cleaned up. I think. What should. is what is your biggest concern that you're going forward? Um, I have a million concerns here. I mean, we got a million concerns. My first concern is that next week EJ gets these seats backed up so I can really see your whole body and not get the top of your forehead. That's a you know, concern. Well, by, I mean, that concerns me that we've got the seats moved up closer than they've ever been in 10 years. Uh, but there's not going to pick and pick and pick. You know, there's all kinds of stuff that, that uh, we can clean up. But um, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm worried about penalties because that's not critical to winning, uh, but it can cost you a game. Uh, you know, we just got to clean that up. It's just bad. One of the concerns, uh, pass protection, four sacks allowed, a couple of those, I think, coming kind of early and with, yeah. uh, with pressure. Yeah, I mean, you know, we'll look at that. And again, sometimes it's plays. I mean, the one thing I can tell you about our offense is we're going to get five receivers out. So, I mean, we like all the explosive plays and guys out of backfield to get it to. So, the quarterback's got to get the ball out, you know, at times. If we're, if we're putting five, I mean, as you guys watch, if you're putting five out and around, the quarterback is hot off of somebody. And we've got to do a good job of picking up corners and knowing they're coming. You know, those ones that you can't see, and we got to do, do a better job at, you know, and that sometimes goes with fast tempo as well. When you fast tempo, sometimes you can't see it coming. Um, so, you know, if we're, you know, we just got to do a better job of that. And that, that comes with experience, I think, at the quarterback position. And, and Coach Bell knowing what he's got there, too. Which, Francis uh, Brew. What do you think about how the linebackers play today, especially Kyle Lewis? You know what? Again, I mean, again I'll refer to the videotape. But Kyle Lewis, that one time he came through there and smacked that guy. You know, the quarterback got beat up today. I hope he's healthy. Um, but it, it, he took a beating today by our, you know, our guys. You know, we might not have got with Five sacks, you know, but it was like you know five sacks and, and another ten hits after that, so it's fifteen hits on the quarterback. He took a he took some licks, and he's a tough kid from Canton, New Jersey, so I'll give him a lot of credit. Um, but uh, you know, Kyle Lewis and, and you know, I think Machine Boss had the first sack of the year. Um, you know, uh, we'll just continue to get better. Our guys, you know, get a young front. We talked about it, but I think you probably saw a lot of penetration, even all the way down to the threes um, at the end there. Um, you know, but um, I thought the linebackers did a nice job. We'll, we'll evaluate it. Francis Brew was a guy you talked about a lot throughout the fall. Is there any reason you didn't play today? Yeah, um, Jerry, tell him. I I, I understand. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help these guys. You know, yeah, we hope we hope we get it back. But again, that's why I sit here. You know, I didn't get to put all those oars on there. And something happens during the week, you know, you don't anticipate. But he's been healthy all all summer camp. It was you know uh, unfortunate that uh, that he wasn't ready to go today. But uh, hope to have him back next week. Yeah, there was a third and long that you guys converted off the draw, spread out the, the defense really wide with your wideouts, and then Dev Reed just gets it and he goes 20, 28 yards. Is that something that you guys need to design up for him because of his ability, or is that just a normal play call? It's, it's, it's draw on third and long. You know, draw, draw on third and long when you're throwing a lot, all of a sudden you catch it by surprise and have a four man twist on. And the offensive line did a great job. Sometimes, you know, the twist, or, you know, when they gate the draw sometimes. But again, it's a great job by you know, Jeremy Darbo, offensive line coach, of getting it picked up and coaching it and, and knowing what to expect. But, uh, you know, it's, again, it comes down to coaching and players making plays. It's a little bit of both. So uh, it's, it's a great play call by Coach Bell. How about a couple more before we wrap it up? Anyone can, else? Can you uh, offer any clarity or any situation? You know, we, we made an announcement about, our life, you know, about that already. And, you know, we've got nothing further to, uh, to talk about. One final. But how important was it for you to have such an offensive explosion in Coach Bell's first game? Um, really important. I mean, I think our kids, I mean, you know, there's a different bounce. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a different bounce about our kids. I mean, I watched them last night coming out of, you know, offensive meetings last night at 8, 8.30 p.m. It's just like the smiles on their faces. They're excited. Um, they had a lot of confidence going in. Again, it's a tribute to our offense staff and Coach Bell and what he's brought to the offense. There's a lot of confidence about what they're doing, how they're doing it. And, um, you know, it was, it was important to come out there and, and, and put some points up like they did. And, and you know, he's, and the great thing about him is he's in the locker room all mad because he feels like he left three touchdowns out there. Okay, so that's what I like about that. Okay. Coach, thank, thank you very much.